I know arguing gets draining. It takes spiritual and mental energy. That's why one of Satan's tactics is to wear you down. Like he did Samson. Let me cut off your strength. Then I'm going to send the Philistines when you don't have no fight left. Have you ever dealt with some adversity and said, Lord, not now. God's using his word. The devil's using your circumstance and your experience. And he's trying to use your experience as an authority instead of God's word. What does that mean? It's like, yeah, you said that last time and you did. You tried before and you did. He's trying to use your experience as an authority. But all of these miracles we see in the New Testament where the writers let us know how long these people wrestle with these issues are there to let us know that your experience is not an authority. So what does the text say? The text says that he sent angels. Angels don't work in us. The Bible says angels work for us. So the equivalent of that for us would be the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. When we're depleted, he says, I'm going to give you a, I'm going to orchestrate a season where I'm going to let the devil leave your mind alone so that I can replenish you. And I'm replenishing you because he's going to come another way because he knows the only way he wins is if you quit. And I got two words for you. Don't quit. Don't be weary in doing good for in due season you reap if you don't faint. I know it's exhausting, but don't faint. David said, I would have fainted unless... I believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Not to see the goodness when I die. Not when I get to heaven, but in the land of the living. He said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't quit if I didn't believe there was a brighter day coming. Not today, Satan. I'm taking this one day at a time.